darling, I know it's hard to let go. I want to get out of a rut. I am kind of on this autopilot routine when it comes to my life right now because I have a typical nine to five job where I'm an account manager. I'm very customer facing. I talk to people all day long. That's my job. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Araceli. I'm a full-time engineer living in Munich. I have lived in Munich now for a little over a year. I am on this routine now where I just feel like my life is on autopilot. I have no control over my day. I wake up, I get ready, I go to work, sometimes go to the office. So that has been my routine for months now. And I do a lot of customer travel as well. I go to conferences and stuff. And it just feels like my life has been work. My priority has been work. I have been unintentionally, I think, prioritizing work. And now I want to take control of my life again. I'm seeking something more exciting, something more spontaneous, adventurous. You know, we live here in this beautiful city. We have the opportunity, the privilege to travel to other cities close by. So I don't want to let it go to waste because our time in Munich can be very limited because it's very unknown how long we want to live in Munich. I talked about this in my previous video, if you've seen it, about our investment in our life here in Germany, if it's worth it, and where we are kind of, I don't know, thinking when we want to go to the US, or if we want to move to another country here in Europe. But it's all very unknown, and I am very type A. I don't do well with a lot of unknowns, and so, I need to kind of get out of my shell and go enjoy life here, go and explore. And so we're gonna do just that in this video. We are going to get out of this rut, out of this autopilot mentality and get out of our routine. Let's go explore, let's go have some fun. And you know, I really want this to be a motivation for you if you're going through this because it's so easy to get in this mindset. So. Let's do it. Patrick and I are headed to go to a karting Grand Prix here in Munich. We're so excited. Patrick found this online for us because I recently got a promotion, so he wanted to do something fun for us. Maybe it's something you guys can check out if you're visiting Munich or you live here. Get eight laps of quali and then 20 laps to race. So let's go. When I came over to your house, I dreamt that I was bleeding out and I woke with you inside of my mouth and questions of the why. We are heading to Olympia Park because it's a beautiful day here in Munich. We finally have some beautiful weather. It's not raining, it's perfect temperature. We are going with our dog because it's nice to be able to take her with us when we go to a park or something like that and she can also enjoy being outside with us. And today I feel like I just need to get out of my house. I need to go and be creative and be inspired and I feel like I'm in a creative rut. I've been in a creative rut with YouTube. I really just need to get out of here. Go explore and go enjoy some sunshine and a nice park. We are taking some things with us to kind of be creative. And one thing I'm working on is a little bit of a project for a Christmas gift that I'm starting for my mom and dad. They don't watch my YouTube videos because I don't like them to <laughs> because I'm really awkward about it with people I know in real life. So they won't know about this, but I'm working on a little project for them for Christmas and 
It's going to be in Spanish, so taking two books that I really love. Um, I got them when I was in Mexico and they're quick reads, so I'm taking them for some inspiration. And they're both poetry books because my book is, well, my intention is to make it like a children's book. I'm not sure how it's going to go, we'll see, but it's going to be in Spanish, so I am looking forward to seeing what I can come up with today. I'm mostly going to brainstorm the characters and some of the storyline, but not really sketch things out because I'm going to do the full thing myself. I am sketching it, I'm putting it together, I'm writing it out, the whole thing. So I'm really excited about it. We are just going to start packing up so we can go. It's always nice to be able to take our dog when we can. So let's go. Found a nice little spot here at Olympia Park. We have a nice view of Olympia Tower, Olympia Halle, which Olympia Halle is like a music hall, concert hall venue. And we've seen a couple concerts there. That's where we saw Harry Styles. I love that venue, it's so fun. I love the layout. There's also Olympiaberg, which is where you can see fireworks on New Year's Eve. It's such a beautiful experience. It's one of my favorite memories since moving to Munich. And it's also a place that you can go any time of the year, have a picnic, enjoy the beautiful view that you get of the city. You can actually see Frauenkirche here from up there. You can see the famous Ferris wheel in Munich that's next to Ospanhof, I think. What else can I say about it? It is a beautiful open park. There are so many people doing various things. There's a skate park to our right. There's also the Olympia Flow Markt um, that we like to come to on Saturday morning with some friends who also enjoy flea markets. And we have found some really cool old finds on Germany, Bavaria, some paintings that we have in our place. And then in the summertime, they have like summer festivals. They have uh, like a lot of fun rides. They have boots and stuff to enjoy. It's kind of like the Frühlings Fest that you get in the spring, but in the summer. So yeah, a lot of events are held here in Olympia Park. I definitely recommend coming here in the summertime because you get a lot of events to enjoy. The vibe is just, it's it, you know? Now everything is changed. We don't even have to kiss anymore. I just want to hang. It was the last time that we did that.
something I want to mention in this video is letting go of comparing your style of content or your style of art or anything that you make because we all are going to have different ways of approaching um, for example writing a children's book we would all view what a children's book actually is very differently based on our experiences and based on what we want to create and I get in my head all the time about the type of content I want to put out on YouTube I always think about if it's bringing any value to the viewer. I think about if it's something that's interesting to watch if you don't know me because my content is really revolved on who I am and how I live my life. But it might not be interesting for someone who doesn't know me at all for a stranger clicking on my video. So I compare my content a lot to those who are at 300,000 viewers or more because they have such a big audience that knows them. And I have content creators that I love watching because I love watching their journey and I love following along. It's very interesting to see content creators kind of let you into their life and let you into their point of view, but we're also only going to post the highlights of our life or what we want you guys to see. So. Um, let me know what kind of content you guys want to see from me because I am kind of in a creative rut. <laughs> I don't know what type of content is valuable or interesting for you guys to watch. I want to take advantage of living in Munich and making content about my life in Munich and how I'm growing as a person since I've moved here. Alright, I'm going to stop recording now because a lot of people are coming and it makes me nervous.